Hello, my name's Shay Fern, and I'm going to be interviewing Mark Hockey, current Linfield player. Hello, Mark. Shay, how are you? Good, so I'm just going to ask you a few questions. So I'd like to start off with, Mark, where did you grow up? I'm a, I'm a local lad. I um, grew up in Newry. Um, actually had a few houses about the place. Um, lived over in Larchmount in the Armagh Road, and then moved up towards the Refrain Road when I was about 10 or 11. And now you've made the, the big move to Belfast and to the big city. So you're living up there at football? Yeah, yeah. So, Mark, what was your childhood in your like? Typical childhood. Um, probably going to sound a bit older than what I am, but it was more out, out every night and had to be dragged home uh, in for dinner and in, in to get to bed. You know, again, I was going to say it makes me sound a bit old, but you see kids now playing their PlayStations all, all night and that. But yeah, it was a typical childhood out, out in your you say, out in the streets playing. Playing football. Yeah, did you ever play with any brothers or sisters? Play football with them? The younger brother, um, probably against my will, it was. Yeah, it was one of those ones where my mum was saying, "Take your brother out, take your brother out." So yeah, Jack would have been, Jack would have been out with Jack us. Jack have been better than you. He probably would have told you, but he's better than me. But you know, he was obviously more, more Gaelic than, than soccer. Yeah, and so you moved into the soccer. Yeah. So Mark, what age did you start playing soccer at? What age? Um, I must have been about six or seven when I joined my first team. Um, it was a wee team up High Street called Three Ways. But obviously I was probably kicking a ball in the backyard from when I was able to walk. But my first team was, was a wee local team up High Street just. Yeah, so uh, who would have been your sporting hero growing up, Mark? Growing up? Um, probably being a Man United fan. Um, obviously looking at Rio Ferdinand and and Vidic, that's what sticks out in my head. Obviously, I'm a, I'm a defender as well, so them two were probably my, my icon defenders, really, obviously supporting United. Mark, could you see yourself playing a similar style of football to them players? I probably thought I was playing like them, to be honest, in my own head. Um, obviously, being a young boy and supporting Man United, it was always that dream to go on and play for Man United. Um, but it was always a case where I just tried to play the best of my ability and, and obviously playing at a, at a professional level. Yeah, so, Mark, what all sports did you play and what interested you at a young age? Well, growing up, I probably would have been a very, very competitive person, so any sort of games involved at all, I was, I was involved in them. Um, the two main sports would have been, obviously, soccer and Gaelic. Um, I would have played the two of them competitively up until I was about 17, 18, and then, obviously, I chose football over the Gaelic. Yeah, so did you ever play your sports with your friends or was it a thing you done on your own? Well, obviously playing football, it's a, it's a team game, so of course, I think it's a big, big factor. Obviously growing up, it was the friends I was, I was hanging about with at the time, they were all football mad, the same as me. So again, like I said before, every, every single night we were out on the street and we had to be dragged in from, from playing football, really. So what was your best memories or achievements in football as a child? As a child, um, I played for Northern Ireland Schoolboys, which was obviously to me a big achievement playing for your, for your country um, at under 18s level. Um, probably going back a wee bit further, um, played for three ways, as I said before in Uri. We actually entered a Northern Ireland seven aside competition that was being held in the Odyssey. And obviously, us all being local lads, and we didn't really maybe give ourselves much chance being that innocent. And we arrived down there and we were all obviously wearing our normal clothes and we, we came up against teams that were fully kitted out and they all looked apart. Um, Ryan McGivern actually played in that team who, who actually went on there to play for Man City, but we ended up winning that tournament. Um, I actually still have the trophy and the medal in the house, so yeah, that sticks out in my head at the moment just. Yeah, so what was your biggest dream growing up? Biggest dream, again, I touched on it before, probably being a Man United fan was to try and play for Man United and obviously playing, playing for your country, but yeah, again, just was professional football, really, to try and make a living out of it. Yeah. So, Mark, just going to ask you, like, what schools did you attend growing up? Um, growing up, I uh, first started in St. Patrick's down the meadow. Um, obviously, went there from P1 to P7. Did my 11 plus, did well in it, and then went on to St. Coleman's College. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was a school my dad went to, obviously, and all the friends in the school, in that class in St. Patrick's, were going to the college. And again, St. Coleman's would have been known for being as a big Gaelic school and I would have played Gaelic at the time, so yeah, it was a choice at the time. Yeah, I go to St. Coleman's as well. Did Mr. Musson put you through your paces growing up? 
he did, yeah. Most of them would have been a PE teacher. And I, as I said before, I made the choice probably for soccer before I got the play with Mr. Molson, obviously he being McCrory involved in the McCrory team. Yeah. So I never actually got that stage, but I've heard all about him. Did you enjoy school growing up, Mark? Definitely did, yeah. Um, I actually love St. Coleman's more, more I'm thinking about it now. I'm still obviously, some of my best friends are still obviously from St. Coleman's. Um, uh, obviously, looking back on it now, I'm probably thinking, you know, being a bit mischievous and that, that was maybe bunking school and I probably should have been there more and, and, and enjoyed it more. But yeah, definitely, definitely enjoyed it. What did you prioritise first, Mark? School or sport? <laughs> to me, I definitely would have prioritised soccer and sport first. You know, obviously my parents wouldn't have been too happy about that. But, you know, obviously education is, is very important too, as, as you well know. Was education a big thing to you and your family growing up? Um, Yes, of course it is, yeah. Uh, mom, mom and Dad wanted to see the best of me, both in sport and education. Obviously, they were pushing more towards the education. Um, I think I was able to manage both myself you know, perfectly well and, and combine the two. I went on the university as well and, and got a degree as well as playing semi-professional football. Yeah, do you think school helped you succeed in sport in any way? It did, yeah. Um, it definitely did, because it, it, sets up, it set up boundaries. Um, St. Coleman's maybe not so much because obviously there's not many soccer teams at St. Coleman's, it's, it's more of a Gaelic school. Um, but yeah, it, 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 definitely, it definitely did help. Yeah. Did school open up any other sporting opportunities for you? The school would have had plenty of clubs, basically uh, any sport. Um, there was hurling, there was golf. Actually, in saying that now, um, I actually went to an after school golf club and it did start me into playing golf. Um, probably not playing as you know at a competitive level, and but I do enjoy playing it. And would you still play a bit of golf now? I would, yeah, I would. Every maybe every couple of weeks I would have played. It's, you know, it's nothing, it's nothing serious, but it's something I enjoy playing. And it probably was it was the school that opened that up to me. Yeah. Well, what subjects did you enjoy most in school? <sighs> I can't I can't think of too many subjects. Um, I actually did P exam for GCSEs. Um, and obviously it's based around sport and the body and, and how you function and perform. So that was probably, probably yeah, my favourite my favorite subject. And would you say that helped you with your career now? It definitely did, yeah. It gave me the, the base, basic knowledge on how to, how to enhance your body performance and look after yourself in terms of dietary and, and, and strength and conditioning and that. Yeah, well, Mark, do you think sport made you give up any social events in life? Oh, it definitely does, yeah. Um, looking all year round, and it's a, it's a commitment really from, from August right through to May. Um, you know, I know myself it's a commitment, and I know I have to make sacrifices. Um, you know, growing up, uh, I was dedicated and sort of committed myself to maybe stay away from alcohol, whereas my friends would have been going out on a Friday night, and, yeah. and I couldn't have because of, of the match on the Saturday. It's, it's the same even around Christmas time. Um, Obviously, we play on Boxing Day, so Christmas, Christmas Day, I'm, I'm basically the taxi man. But it's, it's a sacrifice that I'm definitely willing to, to take. You playing for the infield, Mark Knight? Do you have a dad plan? Um, yes, well, they do give us dad plans. Um, I probably don't stick to it as much as what I should do. Um, you know, again, it is, it is semi-professional, and you know, me and the rest of the lads, we, we work a full-time job as well. So. It's hard to, to stick to a regime as, as much as what full-time players would do. Obviously, that's their, that's their livelihood. Um, but we do, we have to obviously look after ourselves in terms of debts and obviously how much alcohol we consume in that. Yeah, could you explain what your diet is? Um, basic diet, a um, bit of cereal in the morning. Um, try to look towards a bit of protein as well. So lunch and, and dinner is basically the same. Obviously, lunch being a wee bit lighter. Um, I'm not really a fish person, to be honest, I hate anything from the sea, but mainly chicken and, and steak and, and, and a bit of veg. And then obviously, as I said, at the weekends, maybe on a, on a Saturday or Sunday night, uh, I have my wee, my wee cheat meal, basically. And Mark, how do you feel about these restrictions on players playing football? I think, I think they can be a bit harsh at times, but again, it's, it's up to the player and how, how far they want to go in their sport, whether they want to go on and try to be the best they can and play professionally. So I think it's it's mainly the player themselves at the sport that have to sort of you know commit to themselves and and look after themselves really. And Mark, what would you like to see as your best achievements in sport? Best achievement in sport, um, 
I probably haven't achieved as much as what I would like to have achieved at this time in my career. Um, I've, I've, I've a few few medals, county anthem shields, and a mid Ulster mid Ulster cup medals um, at senior level. Um, looking back on it now, um, probably playing playing for my country at, at on road teams and, and the schoolboys team. Um, had some great experiences there and travelling away to obviously England and went to France and played New Zealand as well. So it was a great experience and definitely, definitely something that's sticking out to my head. Yeah, so recently when the country county anthem shield does that make you feel good about like your career this year? It does, yeah. People probably look down on the county anthem shield and say, you know, it's not a it's not a major trophy, but any any trophy you, you enter you, you want to go in it to win it. Um obviously ideally I would like to go on and win the league. Um but yeah it's good to add the county anthem shield. Could you see yourself going on maybe winning the league? It's gonna be a tough, tough tough task this season that we're now dropped to I think nine points behind um Crusaders were in second. Um so it is a tough ask, um, but you know we have to obviously keep playing every week and, and trying to pick up the points, and then just hopefully looking towards Crusaders and then dropping points. Oh, a win on Saturday would hopefully close the gap. It would, yeah. As I said, we, we have to sort of just look at ourselves weekly. We have to obviously go out and get our three points and not to drop any, and then after the game we'll go and look and see how how Crusaders did. Big derby on Saturday. Are you a wee bit nervous for it. It is a big derby, you know, us playing Glentorn is, is always a hype match. Unfortunately, um, I'm injured for the game, so I won't be playing it, but I'll obviously be there supporting supporting the boys and hoping they go on to get, to get the win. So would you, playing sport, prefer to win an individual award or a team award? Definitely a team award. Um, you know, as I said, leagues and, and Irish Cups is, is definitely what you what you aim to go out to win at the start of the season and, and you work towards it together. Um, obviously it's a bonus if you if you win any individual awards, but no, definitely, definitely team awards before before okay, single. So have you any major memories looking back on sporting? Any major memories? Um yeah, some good experiences, like I said, um, playing for Northern Ireland. Um we were in the the Irish Cup final last year, which was my was my first. I've heard so much about the day, really. So it was a good experience. You know, you wake up in the morning, and you have that wee bit of bit of nerves, and you put on your new suit, and you go and meet the boys for a bit of pre-match, and then obviously you go out and play the match. I know, obviously, last year we we didn't really get the result we needed, but it was it was a good experience. Mark, do you have any superstitions before a game? I do. Yeah, I have, I have a couple of superstitions. One that I know is probably going to sound a bit weird, but I don't know why I have it, don't ask me why, but football socks, now you get them with Nike, they have usually an L and an R in them, obviously for left and right foot. I have to wear the L sock on my right foot and the R sock on my left foot. Do you think that makes your feet work bad? <laughs> um, I think it does, yeah, because I think I might have, might have noticed that I put them on the wrong way one game and I might have played well, but I've, I've stuck to that ever, ever since, so hopefully it keeps working for me. When you were playing for Glenavon, Mark, you broke your leg. Did you ever think that was the end? It, it never did, no. Um, I know it was a bad injury and all at the time. Um, looking back on it now, it was probably more serious than what I thought it was at the time. Um, I was still young and fit, but again, it was, I was given a time scale. I was given a, a rehab programme, so once I had it in my head, a, a, a month that I could come back and play, that's, that's, that's all I, I looked at really in getting back. And I actually got back a wee bit earlier than what I was meant to. Yeah, so it was a serious injury. It was, yeah, yeah. In your prime now, Mark, yeah. That's what they say, yeah. Well, that's what they say when you turn 26, you're in your prime. So, you know, I've signed basically a new three year deal with Linfield. So I'm hoping now, do you say, to go on and kick on further with Linfield and, and to progress myself on at the club? Mark, have you any regrets on sport? Do I have any regrets? Um, looking back on it now, probably I didn't really play as much Gaelic as what I'd like to when I was younger. I know I made the decision to, to play, to go on and pursue soccer, um, but probably a wee regret I have in my head at the moment is not really going on to play McCrory football for St Comans because I played Gaelic right up until Rana Fast in fifth year. So probably a wee regret in my head was not maybe going on to try and play McCrory football with them. Mark, you were playing a game one day and the keeper got injured and you went in nets and saved the penalty. How did that make you feel? I've actually done nets a couple of times. Um, I did nets once for Glenavon and I've done it now twice with Linfield. Um, as you said, I went in the nets and had to save a penalty. I think it was probably because obviously the club know that I did play Gaelic and I would have played for the County Nine minor team when I was 
about 17, 18. So I had a bit of history there. So obviously, you know, Gaelic involves your ball to hand coordination. So I think that's how they came to the decision of putting me in the nets. Um, and to me, I'm, I'm basically got a wee bit lucky in nets because it's different doing nets in soccer than, than playing Gaelic, basically. So you reached an All-Ireland semi-final with Down. Was that a big accomplishment? Definitely was, yeah. Um, I was in Glenavon first team at the time. So they were they were happy enough. Obviously, the Gaelic was through the summer months. So they were happy enough to release me to go and play for the minor team. Um, unfortunately, we could beat in the Ulster final against Armagh. Um, I think the boys just maybe underperformed on the day. But we went along with the hopes to win the All-Ireland. So again, looking back to your previous question, that's probably another regret because we played Mayo, Mayo in the semi-final. And looking back on it, we were, we were a better team and we did have better, the better players. So it was probably a game we, sh we should have won. Saving that penalty, would you ever like to be a goalkeeper? Definitely not, no. I don't, don't envy any goalkeeper at all. Um, I, th I thought I was nervous playing, playing outfield. I, I don't know how keepers manage their nerves doing nets. Obviously, the last line of defence and any single mistake and it ends up in a goal. So I don't envy any keeper and I, I wouldn't like to be in between the sticks anytime soon. So Mark, what are your future aspirations in sport? Future aspirations would be obviously to go and try and win a league with Linfield to win an Irish Cup as, as much as I can and obviously to make as many appearances for Linfield um, as, until, until basically my legs stop me from playing any further. Um, yeah, that's, that's basically it. Would you ever like to go on sport and do coaching? It is. It's something I've already started. Um, went on to do my level one with IFA. Um, I've also joined up as a player who plays for us, Aaron Burns. He has his own wee soccer academy, which he goes around to primary schools with coaching. So I've joined on board with him to do a bit with him. So it's definitely something I'm looking towards. Obviously, when I, when I stop playing is coaching. It's something I'm, I'm pretty passionate about as well. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Shay. Thank you. Shay, have you to sit with you,